the red building on our left is the new city school for boys. This is where Daniel Ratcliffe started his education, old Harry Potter. So in front of you is the newest bridge on the river. When it opened in the morning, it was called Millennium Footbridge. But we closed it three hours later because it was swinging and swaying so violently, no one could stand up. So it got the new name, the Wibbly Wobbly Bridge. Now look to your left because it's been specially designed to ruin the best view of St Paul's in London. But who cares a few people on the boat? Now over there on the right, look behind them big old trees, William Shakespeare's Globe Theatre. You see the stairway on the right? Look behind the stairway, those black iron gates are open. So that means they're putting on a show or it's just ending. Oh, that what building was you're looking at what was is the only timber framed, thatched roof, open air theatre in London since 1666. Oh. Now the reason all your entertainment was on the right, it's quite simple. The city fathers on your left, they would not allow live entertainment. The first theatre in the city opened in 1952. So on the right we had bear baiting, cock fighting, circuses, taverns and even houses of horizontal pleasure. So this is called Southwark Bridge. Thanks to the Mayor of London, it's become the least used bridge in London. He wants to turn London into a very expensive car park. And he's doing a good job of that, as you can see. Now, you're here in London about pollution and congestion. The way to get around it is by using the old river. So when we go through the bridge, look over on the left, you'll see a barge more there. And if you count the containers on the top, there is another stack underneath. Now, one tug can tow four of those barges. So work it out for yourself. One diesel engine going through the middle of London or a hundred lorries in a traffic jam instead. Apparently, no one has told them now there's a river in London. Here to the right, this lovely little pub, the Old Anchor Tavern, opened in 1580. This is where Samuel Pepys, the London diarist, lived when he described the Great Fire. This is on the Riverside Walk, this pub. Really nice in the evening in there, but it does get very busy. So you're going underneath Cannon Street Railway Bridge now. Look ahead of us on the right, where you see the people. There's a big white sign on the wall, and behind it, we have a replica ship. It's called the Golden Mine. This little replica is over 50 years old. It's already been round the world twice. Now they've just replaced the mast because she's getting ready for another voyage around the world. So if you do walk South Bank, just behind that ship on the right, that's what we call the Borough Market. Now look on the left there, we've got the Monuments to Money. The building with the curved top, that's the Walkie Talkie. Behind it we've got the Scalpel, the Gherkin, the Cheese Grater and the salt and pepper pots. Now 20 years ago, there was one tower in the city. See the black and chrome one on the left? The old Nat West Tower is now renamed Tower 42. So this is London Bridge. We've had four bridges here. First one fell down. Second one was burnt down. The last one, we sold it as a jigsaw puzzle. Most of it ended up in Lake Havasu City in Arizona and this bridge opened 1973. As we go under the bridge, look over on the left, look between the first two buildings, there's the little church of St Magnus. Now look in the left corner where you see the scaffold going up and you will see the tallest candle in the world. It's called the Monument, commemorating the Great Fire. But look above us on the left, look at the old walkie-talkie tower. Now the reason it's always busy up there is because it's free. I know that's very unusual for London, but to give you an idea, if you go up the shard above us on the right, 
their prices start at £30 each. So the money you save, you can go up the walkie-talkie and have a nice meal and a drink on the top floor. The little yellow building on the left, that was the oldest fish market in England, Billingsgate. We used to sell 400 tonnes of fresh fish in that building every morning. That's when the people of London ate healthily. Now, they all have McDonald's for breakfast instead. Behind the trees on our left, this is known as the Custom House, the main customs offices of this country. But if you look on the right here, every building you see between the bridges, this area is now renamed London Bridge City. And this entire section of London now belongs to the Qatari royal family. So they've got all of this, they nicked the World Cup, and now they've got Man United as well. Now the warship on the right, the Belfast, been here just over 50 years now. Look on the top, the radar scanner. One of the first British ships equipped with radar, helping her to sight and sink the battleship Scharnhorst. There are nine decks open on the ship, from the engine rooms to the radar scanner. She's very popular during the kids breaks. You can take your children on there and lose them for a couple of hours. Have a little rest. Now, as we go by the ship, look on the right, we've got the Power Rangers crash helmet. Now, this big glass bubble, it was the headquarters for the Mayor of London. He moved out last year. He said the people of London can't afford the rent, which is quite amazing because we thought we owned it. But look to the right of his old office, see the big television screen over there? When we came past here earlier, our girls were winning the football. So they're doing quite well. But this is a fan zone, so it's all sport during the day and a cinema complex of a night. Over here on your left we have the tower. You're looking at 1100 years of English history. Palace, fortress, prison and a zoo. Look on the wall there, you can see the words entry to Traitor's Gate. That was the first one-way street in London. Because when you went in, you never ever came out. The ones who did came out in four separate pieces. So here we are, the last bridge of London, the Tower Bridge, opened 1894. Now look up the top, you can see the city badge. That means you are leaving the city of London. So today, on our journey, you have beaten all the traffic through central London. Now the lower bascules, they used to lift up many times a day, and when they did, we just walked over the top. Well look above us now, We've got in installed glass pavements. So give them a nice wave and a smile. Make out you're enjoying yourselves because there's someone up there taking your picture. So if you're not supposed to be here today, don't look up. But look down that river, folks, in front of you because this was the busiest commercial port in the world. The River Thames now is a housing estate. Look each side of us, some of the most expensive apartments in London. Now, um, on our left is our major stop. Now, if you have a ticket that takes you to Greenwich, you stay on the boat with us. We're going to call into this pier on the left here, Tower St Catherine, and this is for anyone who has got a tower ticket. It doesn't matter if it is single, we 